Hello, everybody. So, figured might as well pick up the camera today and record pretty much like a day in the life type video because it is spring break for me. So I have some extra free time on my hands. So I'm just going to pretty much take you through like what I'd usually do uh, during the break. Um, but for, for that, I'm going to show you what I take supplement wise, which ones I recommend, as well as which ones I do not recommend. And then after that, we're going to be doing an arm workout. So. All right, I'm just gonna go right into it um, with the number one supplement that I think is the most important for everybody in every aspect, which is pre-workout. You might have been surprised. Pre-workout, like a lot of people would be like, well, that's not a supplement, like protein is a supplement. But actually, pre-workout has a lot of ingredients in it that will give you that extra boost that is necessary to get the best workout possible. Because what's the point of like taking other post-workout supplements um, if you don't even have a good workout? So. It'll give you that extra boost and that crazy good pump and motivation because when you take it, there's no going back. You, need, you like have to work out, you know what I mean? So, pre-workout is what I recommend as the number one supplement that everyone should take. The next supplement after pre-workout, which I think is very important and is probably the most beneficial, would be creatine because, scientifically backed, it is naturally occurring in food, but obviously you don't get enough of it. So made into a supplement helps you with strength in the gym as well as recovery so creatine I think is very important third would be omega-3 fatty acids um, I mean if you get enough fish in your diet then yeah um, you probably wouldn't need a supplement but a lot of people or most people don't get enough omega-3 so I would recommend this one as well on your supplement stack okay and then the last supplement that I will bring up that I would recommend to some people but not everybody would be protein um, because most people get enough protein from a normal diet. So if you just eat a balanced diet, you're going to get plenty of protein. I mean, you can get your blood work done and you can see like how much protein is in your blood. And then if you don't have enough, just take the supplement. Um, same thing goes for BCAs. If you have a normal balanced diet, you don't necessarily need the supplement because you get plenty of BCAs and protein from just a normal diet. So. Um, that is pretty much, those are the ones that I would recommend and those are the only ones that I'm taking. Other than that, like most of the other stuff really isn't that necessary. So, um, next clip you're kind of probably going to be seeing me take some pre-workout and then we're going to be doing an arm workout. So, it's going to be fantastic. Stay tuned. Also, I forgot to mention that the supplements which I just showed you just barely are all from Blue Star Nutraceuticals, um, the supplement company that sponsors me the best absolute best quality supplements you can ever find anywhere so i would recommend these to everybody um so use code jason10 to get 10 percent off thank you all right just on the stairmaster right now gonna take some tea. this one is pineapple mango from booster and a dry scoop it my girlfriend Janelle's recording. Say hello, Janelle. Hello. Oh, hold your breath. Hope there's enough. We'll see if there's enough water. Tasty. Sour. Mm. So we're working out at um, the old gym I used to go to before I met this beautiful girl. Um, then I moved to St. George. There's another performance fitness in St. George, um, and that's why I met her. But we came back today because we're going through town anyway. So figured might as well do a workout here because our membership goes to both gyms. So yeah, I'm gonna do an arm workout today. We just took our pre-workout. It's gonna hit us, we're gonna feel the itchies, itchies. Uh -oh. and, and then we're gonna go crazy. We're gonna go crazy. <laughs> So we're starting with barbell curls with the easy bar. I prefer the easy bar because it's easier on the wrists. We're just warming up. We're gonna increase about 20 pounds until 
I hit my 10 rep max, and then we're gonna do a bunch of drop sets and three sets. Forty poundages. Wow. What weight are you gonna work up to today? I'll try sixty. Yeah, go for it. Sixty for reps would be a PR for you. Yeah. Good form. The delts are popping. So we're going on the inside because it gets the outer head of the bicep a little more. If you curl on the outside like this, it gets the inner head a little more. But well, I want to focus a little bit more on the width of my bicep, so I'm gonna go on the inside like this. Yeah. Sixty pounds for the first time. Nice. Good job. Come on. Good. That's it. <laughs> Dang. 10 rep max, and then we're gonna drop down about half the weight, and then burn out with that. So I just got back from LA, so I'm pretty tan. I was burnt and now I'm tan. Um, so it definitely helps with the physique. Let's do some quick posing real quick. We're gonna do um, rope hammer curls on the cable. Um, and we're gonna focus on just the contraction at the top. So you squeeze up the top here and then lower it about four seconds on the on the eccentric. So concentric both paws and then take your time coming down. Squeeze. So we're moving to triceps now. Um, we did two exercises for biceps, and I think we're gonna do one or two for triceps. Um, so basically, the, what we're doing is we got 90 degree bench, um, and we're using one single dumbbell, and basically doing a skull crusher motion, like how Janelle is demonstrating perfectly. Isn't that right, Janelle? Yeah. Thanks. 